Hello, my name is Rachel Rhodes, and I have the honor of being this year's Fossil Ridge Theater Booster President. The Fossil Ridge Theater Boosters are proud to present the following seniors a $500 scholarship for their incredible dedication to the theater department this year. Faith Bailey, Jorge Chavez, Julia Donnelly, Madalena Loophole, Emily Nunn, Kathleen Palufo, and Aaliyah Smith. Congratulations, seniors. The FRHS Fine Arts Department is proud to present the following awards to its outstanding students for each department. For band, Carter Buse and Lily Beltnap. For choir, for senior leadership, goes to Jacob Bush and Susie Lewis. For the Aryan Musicianship Award, is awarded to Tayshawn Edwards. For dance, Lindsay Sanchez. For journalism, Cassidy Fullerton and Briston Montano. For piano, the pianist of the year goes to Yesenia Carballo and Chris Helmsetter. For theater, outstanding senior goes to Aaliyah Smith and Faith Bailey. And Miss FRHS Theater is awarded to Madalena Leupold and Alyssa Campos. Congratulations again for all of your incredible work. We are very proud of you. Hello, this is Mr. Brown, and on behalf of the art department, which includes Ms. Greenwood, Mrs. Link, Mr. Houck, and myself, we would like to congratulate our co-artist of the year. Our first recipient is Colleen Ventimiglia. Colleen is a AP Portfolio 2D Design student. She has qualified for state base this year, as well as winning the House 93 District Ornament Contest. Our second recipient is Emily Nunn. Emily also qualified for state base this year as well as taking two portfolio classes during the same year, one being AP 3D Design and the other one being AP 2D Design, so a lot of hard work. We're very proud of you ladies, and we want to wish you congratulations. It's okay. Uh -huh. It's okay. In the Career and Technical Education Department, the top male student completed the Business Management and Administration endorsement. He earned several Microsoft Office industry-based certifications. He worked an externship for the Keller ISD Foundation. And during our quarantine, he volunteered to help create a Google site website that's going to be used by our 800 Panther Pride staff members during professional learning this August. Congratulations, Austin Dixon. sixth student in the class of 2020 is Zoha Mujib. I have known this outstanding student since she was a freshman. She will go on to do great things in the world. Good luck, Zoha. Our female social studies student of the year is Sage Allen. Congratulations, Sage.
Our social studies male student of the year for 2020 is William Ramirez. Congratulations, William. Hi, I'm Coach Cook. It's my honor to introduce to you the male and female player of the year for tennis. Female player of the year was Layla Rushing. Male player of the year was Tyler Lee. Congratulations. The Fossil Ridge High School English Department would like to recognize two students who are excellent at all the processes of literacy, which are thinking, listening, speaking, reading, and finally writing. And those two students for the 2019-2020 school year are Caitlin Melton and Briston Montano. I'd like to nominate Sophia Wheatman for the Outstanding World Language Senior Award because she's an incredibly hardworking, incredibly intelligent and involved student, uh, not only in, in Spanish class, but uh, in all her other classes. Matter of fact, I know she takes, uh, or she's in the nursing program and that's super time consuming and yet she still finds time to, to, to work on everything else that she, that she has. As a matter of fact, I found out mid-year that she not only worked one, but two jobs uh, to save for college, and yet she still maintains a super high GPA at school. Um, also, her language, uh, I've had her for two years, Spanish three and four, and uh, and I mean, her Spanish uh, went from here to here, I improved a ton. Matter of fact, I know if she wants, she wants some Spanish speaking country right now, even if she doesn't believe it, she could speak to whoever she wants, say whatever she wants, and she'd be completely fine. So best of luck to you, Sophia. Hey guys. So I definitely nominate Kat. Kat is like, she is a wonderful student. She does her work all the time. She's trying so hard to be the best. And even though she's Colombian, which means she speaks Spanish, English, she's trying to be fluent like in French, and she is actually is. She is actually fluent in French. Like uh, any time we're trying to do her like like this work, like uh, recording voices or like speaking uh, tests or anything like this, she she doesn't hesitate. She just like record her voice and send it to me and like Mr. Shafi, can you please grade it for me? And of course, of course, of course I do. She is doing so great in my classroom. And after the COVID-19, she always sent me her work. She was amazing. She was absolutely wonderful. Like, uh, I don't have to like call parents or anything like, you know, like uh, during the COVID-19, like to make sure that she she can like get my messages. No, she just do it. Just does his work. She does her work. She is wonderful. She's amazing, really. And I'm so proud to have been like her teacher for this year. Even it was for like a short, very short year. But I am so proud. And therefore, I know I nominated I nominated her. Sorry, yeah. English is hard. The top ESL senior girl is Carolina Gutierrez, and the top senior boy is Luis Lebron. Congratulations, guys. Y'all are amazing and have improved so much over the years. I am so proud to see what will come next after high school. Good morning, everyone. My name is Juliana Casillas, and today it is my pleasure to introduce the senior female nominee for the Math Departmental Award, Maria Salim. Upcoming is a message from the entire department to Maria, presented by Mr. Royce. Maria, I hope you enjoy.
Congratulations, you did it! You're moving on. We will miss you very, very much. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Mrs. Womble. I am the AVID coordinator at your school, and I'm here to give out some AVID awards for the senior class of 2020. So the first award is going to go to Best Note Taker. So this person had amazing notes all year long. You could look at this person's notes and actually see what was going on in their head, what questions they were going to ask their teacher, what they highlighted, what questions they had, maybe they or what 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 pieces of, of of information might be on a test that they would really study for. All kinds of things you could really see that they interacted constantly during class with their notes. And so this goes to the award for best note taker goes to William Ramirez. William, you had amazing notes amazing amazing and i really hope that you don't lose that skill going off to college next year they're great they're going to take you real far 
The second award I have is for Best Agenda. Guys, you and I both know we have a lot going on every single day, right? Our, our schedules are busy, our lives are, are pretty hectic, and I don't know how this lady kept her life in check. She was busy, she had things going on, but yet everything that happened behind, behind the scenes, she never missed a deadline. You, could, you almost never knew what was going on in her crazy world. It was amazing. And her agenda showed everything that she had going on, whether it was a reminder, whether it was a due date, whether it was a to-do list. She had everything there. She wasn't gonna mess up at all. So the award for best agenda goes to Miss Carly McKay. Carly, congratulations. You had the best agenda by far all year long. So great job. The next award is for best avid tutorials. So this person, whenever we would have tutorials, which is twice a week, she asked questions very loudly. She was always on it, always had the questions, always helped students get to their final answer. She was really aggressive. Like she wanted to make sure she knew everything and she didn't wanna continue on without knowing the answer. And I, I guess because of that, she is in top 10. So this award for best tutorials goes to Zoha Mujib. Zoha, congratulations. Those questioning skills are gonna take you far, sister, real, real far. Great job. The next award I have is for our avid star. Our avid star in general is the student who really shows what avid is, is, is all about, could be a leader, um, is passionate about the program, just an overall great person um, inside and out. And that award goes to Rafida Zaman. Rafida, congratulations. You are very well deserving of this award. The final award that I have this afternoon is for our community service. So our AVID program, we require lots of community service, but mainly we, we um, require that because college applications like it. And so we wanna make sure that our students sparkle. And so with this kind of community service, it wasn't just logging the hours for the student. It was the dedication. It was the connection to our elementary students and the, the constant showing up no matter what. It could have been a Tuesday and maybe our Monday was a holiday. No matter what, there were no excuses with this student. The, he, he was always there no, no matter what. And um, I actually received several emails from teachers at neighboring elementary schools saying, we love him. We want him back every year. Well, this award for community service goes to Carlos Perez. Carlos, I cannot tell you how many emails I received from teachers at CTI and over there at Parkview there at the end um, saying how amazing you were, not only just showing up and being punctual, but having a connection with students and really asking them questions about who they are and what they do. And you know, little kids love that. We all like to connect with each other. So you really made your mark across our Panther Pride. And so you are very well deserving of the Community Service um, Award. So there's all my awards. Thanks guys. Class of 2020, congratulations. I am so proud of you just like everyone else here at Balsa Ridge and great job this year and good luck next year. Bye. Hey seniors, my name is Mrs. Womble. I'm here to present the award recipient for the 2020 Avid Panther Pride Scholarship. So those of you who may or may not know, you know, the great thing about scholarships is anyone can make one, including your teachers. That's right, your kindergarten through 12th grade teachers decided, you know what, we want more than just seeing you for 13 years. We wanna be a part of your next journey. We wanna be a part of your next adventure. And this is our way to do that. So all of your teachers between kindergarten and 12th grade, your administrators, even some of your district employees of Keller ISD, we have worked tirelessly to make sure that we have had fundraisers and shirt sales and all kinds of things to make sure that you have a little bit extra cash for your next journey. So this award recipient will be receiving $2,500 for their school next fall. So the award winner for the AVID Panther Pride Scholarship this year for $2,500 goes to 
Kenny Bongla. Kenny, congratulations. We're so, so happy for you. And we know you're gonna do great things and we cannot wait to be a part of that with you. So Kenny, congratulations. Have a great year. Hey there, Ridge. This is Dr. Rob Wright from the CTE department at Keller ISD. I wanted to tell you about scholarships this year. Our department gave away $15,000 in scholarships to kids at, at Fossil Ridge High School. The first scholarship I want to talk to you guys about is our Trade and Technical School Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 each, sponsored by the Lions Club of Kelton. This was given to Brian Alonzo and Tyrese Williams. Next, our CTSO Scholarship for $1,000 was sponsored by Unity One and given to Sophia Weedman. Our Agriculture and Veterinary Studies Scholarship for $1,000 was sponsored by Newland Communities Canyon Fall Property and given to Ms. Jessica Ramos. Our Automotive Technology Scholarship for $1,000 was sponsored by Park Place Dealerships and given to Brian Alonzo. Aviation Pilot Scholarships in the amount of $1,000 were sponsored by Andy and Liz Klein and given to Mariana, Laura, and Nathan Lopez. A computer programming scholarship in the amount of $1,000 was sponsored by Texas Health Harris Methodist Hospital Alliance and given to Christopher Carter. A culinary arts scholarship in the amount of $1,000 was sponsored by the Rotary Club of Keller Foundation and given to Kendall Good. A health science scholarship for $1,000 was sponsored by Medical City Alliance and given to Mr. Richard Bratcher. A marketing scholarship sponsored by Mercedes-Benz Financial Services in the amount of $1,000 was given to Austin Dixon. A visual arts scholarship for $1,000 was sponsored by Glint Advertising and provided to Madalena Loophole. Lastly, Lockhold Mark Lockheed Martin presents a $1,000 scholarship to their 19 and 20 intern, Mr. Carson Wilson. Thank you so much, Ridge, for all your hard work this year. We love giving this money to you guys, and we wish you well. Have a great day. The Ford Driving Dream Scholarship is presented to Tyler Lee. Congratulations, Tyler.